at WNST, Towson Baltimore and Baltimore Positive. I want to say this before I get to the Crab Cake Tour. We're here at Captain Larry's. We're down in Federal Hill. It's all brought to you by the Maryland Lottery and our friends at Window Nation. Um, I will always remember where I was when Lamar Jackson signed the five-year extension with the Baltimore Ravens. It was right here at Captain Larry's. <laughs> the Crab Cake started in the, in the oven, and Lamar wasn't signed. And by the time the crab cake gets to me, Lamar's a raven for life. How about that? So, uh, Todd Schuler, you get 10 points and a great memory uh, for being here. Mar is here. Mar Householder is uh, 17 years down here on Ford Avenue. The Narragansett sign outside has always made me want to come in and get the official beer of the clam. Uh, this is my first ever Narragansett. Um, oh. Did you inherit it with the sign on the door? No, no, no. That was, that was something that we got. When we started. Well, sort of the Natty Bow of New England. It, yes. It has a yes. similar body and flavor and characteristics yes. of all that. And also, interesting fact is that was the beer that the captain was drinking when he was eaten by the shark. In Jaws. Jaws. Right. Because mm -hmm. it was a New England beer. He was beer. drinking the Narragansett. All right. Well, Narragansett beer, uh, the sign is outside, but they'll give you any kind of beer you want. So I come at this honest. I wanted to do the crab cake tour about three years ago during the plague, and I thought of being in places like this. Like every local bar in Dundalk, I'm from Dundalk, had a crab cake. And they were all pretty good. And I always say I grew up poor with claw meat. My mom would J-O it all out and put a celery seed and mustard, man, and fry it, pan fry it. It would come at me like a little hockey puck. And for the first, I don't know, 25 years of my life, that was a crab cake, right? I mean, whether you went to Ross's or the Corral Inn or Ruggiero's or... Every, all of these local bars, not dissimilar to Captain Larry's, had a crab cake. I wasn't old enough in the 70s, 80s to be down in South Baltimore, but I'm assuming every place down here had a crab cake too. Um, probably, yeah. You're probably right. That's a Baltimore right. thing. Yeah. I mean, you yeah. know, and it wasn't a Gucci product. It wasn't. Right. It might have still been the most expensive thing on your menu, but it wasn't $50 a pound. It wasn't like that. It wasn't that kind of a... Uh, delicacy it was a local tradition and doing it in places like this so chris pica my dear friend from uh west baltimore moved to atlanta new orleans Burmy, been everywhere he moved back to baltimore during the plague two years ago and he moved a block and a half away from you mm -hmm. and when i started the crab cake tour first things you gotta go to captain larry's i'm like Aww. i drive by there all the time it doesn't say crab cakes outside it says beer it says it says new england beer and uh, I said, I've been in there for a beer before. I didn't even know they had a crab cake. He's like, it's the best crab cake. You know, to, uh, you got to get it. You got to go there. So he started on me about a year and a half ago to come up. And then Victoria August is your friend and my friend as well. She was here on, uh, on St. Patrick's Day. And I hit her and I said, I hear they got a great crab cake. She said, you got to get you with Mara. You got to come do the crab cake tour. <laughs> so here we are. It's been a lovely, lovely day. Uh, I want to thank all of our guests that have been a part of the show today. Uh, Todd Schuler was here. And that moment, momentous moment at 420 on draft day. Uh, when the Ravens signed Lamar Jackson. So, um, but also, Shannon Toback was here, Chris Real also. And, uh, but I want to have you, we're going to have the crab cake here. Give me the story of this place because this is a traditional brick row house, corner South Baltimore bar. Has it always been a bar? Um, it has been for a long time. Like, but definitely our lifetime, my lifetime, your lifetime. But, um, so, but Captain Larry's was probably started like maybe 40 or 50 years ago. Captain Larry, there was a Captain Larry. There was there, a Captain well, Larry. Well, there is, actually is a Captain Larry. Okay. And he um, opened up this corner bar. It was a very um, policeman-friendly place. Um, as a matter of fact, there are bullet holes in the ceiling over there from a bunch of policemen doing target shooting, um, trying to get closest to the pin because these are tin ceilings. So there are holes in the ceiling. Okay, I'm going to go over there and check that out. Yeah. So anyway, um, so Captain Larry owned it, and when Captain Larry owned it, I used to work for him once in a while. This is in the 60s, 70s, 80s, or no? This is the 80s, 90s. 80s, 90s. Like, okay, yeah. all right, fair enough. Yeah, I mean, I always think... 50, 60 years yeah, ago. Yeah, I do the math and it like, freaks me out. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Like when I hear a it's song like the and 60s. say, like I have this queen belt buckle here. I wear these. This is 45 years old. Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> exactly. It's a nice shape for 45. I'm in nice shape for 55. But, um, <laughs> but, but there, there is, you know, there's a period where 
the eras change, mm-hmm. and every bar in town, unless it's a family-owned place, mm-hmm. changes hands, and then you get to envision a new mm-hmm. dream. What what right. what is Captain Larry's? So I, I I love this place. So I said to Captain Larry, if you ever want to sell this place, I would like to have first right of refusal, and so he agreed to that. And then a couple of years later, Tim Wisted from Little Havana's offered him to buy the place. And Captain Larry said, Mara has first right. And <laughs> Tim and I were good friends. Tim asked me if I was, in, if I was um, interested. And at that point, I had just bought a house, so I had, didn't have the means to do that. So Tim buys it, and he completely renovates the whole place. So it didn't look like this when Captain no, Larry was here? No, okay. not at all. And um, after he renovates it, he decides that he doesn't want a, another bar. So he approaches me, and my brother and I decided at that point, okay, we're ready to start. And so here we are. This is a real family bar. Yeah, it's the two of us. Well, I almost came down on St. Patrick's Day. Uh, you guys had some delicious-looking corned beef and cabbage. I know it's a hangout for that. But I hit Victoria that day, and, and she said, I'll, I'll get you here for the crab cake. Chris loves your crab cake. I know a lot, when I said I was coming here, lots of people said, ah, you found one of the, the gems, one mm-hmm. of those sort of places – not talking about with Fadley's or Pappas or Costas, mm-hmm. other places, but a real neighborhood place. And I'm always in search of more of these. Recipe? You got, it was your recipe? Mom's? Larry's? Whose it recipe? was actually Captain Larry's, but oh. I have tweaked it a little bit. Just a okay. tiny bit, just to give it a little, and a little Latvian lovin'. A Latvian lovin'. Why yeah, is Latvian lovin'? Because my brother and I are Latvian, so we um, like Latvia. Is that, is the, the, I used to go through Leviticus, or is that is that Latvian? Leviticus, Leviticus is Lithuanian. Lithuanian, mm-hmm. Viticus, right? Our neighbors that, in, on the a south. A lot of bars had that. And it's sort of a minty kind of thing, right? Or is, no? It's like I've had it before. It tastes like Christmas. It's like really cinnamony and honey ish. It tastes like Christmas. Okay, all right. Like yeah. a cough drop. I've had it, but we. Ha- Back in the 90s, I've been on the radio 31 years. People started talking, Ray Bachman used to talk about this Viticus. Mm -hmm. Some people call it Leviticus or whatever. And I said, what is this? But people in South Baltimore and West Baltimore Mm -hmm. knew what it was. A lot of Lithuanians around here. It's Lithuanian, not Latvian. Mm -hmm. But they're they're similar. Foods are all very similar. There are brothers and sisters to the South. Right on. Okay. Mm -hmm. So you had Viticus in here? No, No, we don't. Not your thing. No, no, yeah. Mom's Okay, mom's has it. Okay. And Chris makes it there. So that's why I'm asking. So I'm not, I'm not that far off base. No, All right. No. I wasn't crazy to think that. I, I don't want to sound stupid. Sure. We're Captain Larry's. Mara's here. 17 years of being here. Now, the unique part of your joint, board games, mm-hmm. right? And this menu of unique things. Chris came in, my first guest. He had like pita chips with lamb. It was very Greek, sort it was of a the, it was Mediterranean. A, it was the gyro dip. So it's basically a deconstructed gyro. I saw that. It looked delicious. Mm-hmm. Oh, here comes the crab cake. Look out. Just in time. Tell everybody about your brother. Uh, he's, not, he's, he's camera shy, but we're going to bring him on a wave. <laughs> How about that? Because he's a part of this, too. I've seen yeah. him here working. He's slinging his crab cake for me. Yeah, he's, he's good at that. So you're, you're a broiled crab he's cake He's a house? silent partner. <laughs> silent and off camera as well. This is the Captain Larry's crab cake. I, you, know, you can get this a lot of different ways, and I guess traditional um, in Baltimore would be French fries and coleslaw, right? Mm-hmm. But you offered me a Greek salad, and I'm, I'm not Greek, but I got a Greek name. I never turned down a Greek salad. No. So. Well, so what are the popular sellers here? Tell me about your menu a little bit here. So, um, typically, the, the fish tacos are pretty popular. They're um, Baja style. Um, and the fish sandwich, which is um, an Isle Mirada fish sandwich. So, there's this place in um, Isle Mirada, and it's called Mike's. And okay. they have I haven't been this. that far into the Keys yet. Yeah. I've only been as far as Key Largo. I've never been to Key West. They sell this um, fish sandwich, so it's baked fish. Mahi, right? With, well, the, ours is with mahi. Okay. And then it has um, American cheese, um, tomato, mayonnaise, and pickles. It sounds very weird, but it, and it's on wheat toast. It sounds very weird, but it is delicious. It's like one of those things when I say to somebody, trust Just me. Just get it. Trust Just me, and, and I've never, ever, ever had an, an, any complaints. Well, I've been doing this crab cake tour long enough, and I've been eating food on the radio for 31 years. I, I had Shannon here. She used to bring me Rusty Scupper food 20 years mm-hmm. ago, and she worked at the Rusty Scupper on Fridays, and they were sponsoring us. 
I was, I've been in Maui for the last 10 days, and I'm going to share this video because I made a video of this. I went four years ago into this little humble fish market on the northwest side of the island. It's just in a strip mall, and I, I looked it up. It was highly rated, and I thought, oh, I'll go in a fresh market, and I got the macadamia nut mahi, and Ooh. they serve it with fresh pineapple salsa. And they serve, it's Hawaii. They give yeah. you a blob of rice and they give you a blob of macaroni salad the way we do coleslaw here. I thought four years ago it was the greatest thing I've ever tasted. It was the best thing I've ever gotten in a box, mm -hmm. for sure, because it's a carry-out joint. And I ate this thing and I went back last week and I did it again, but it's mahi. Mahi is something, I, I go into restaurants and I see it on the menu. I never order it. Right. But it's such a delicious fish. And it it's, it's a versatile fish. A lot yes. of different... I never, I've never thought about it on a sandwich. Mm -hmm. To me, it's sort of a delicate... It's a plate... Like a crab mm -hmm. cake. I wouldn't put it on a sandwich. It's delicate, you know? Right. But mahi's a delicious fish, and that's what you're doing on your mm -hmm. sandwich. Mm -hmm. It is good. All right. What else we got on the menu here? Um, let's see what well, we've got. Well, you like, got the clam strips wings. because you yeah. gave me the, the official beer of the clam. Yeah. Right? Well, also because it's like... And they're like Hojo, you know, Hojo style. Like traditional, remember Howard Johnson's? I never went to Hojo's, no. but they were See, known for their clams, right? You're a little younger right? than I am, but yeah, they were or known for orange their, and blue with yeah, the, yeah. they were for their fried clams. And do you know exactly why it was like orange that. and blue like that? I don't. They did research, and I'm not, I'm, I'm not making this up. I, I, this is real. They said that those colors made people the hungriest, or they huh. believe that. Interesting. That's why it was so weirdly teal yeah. and orange and the little right. They, yeah. they thought that that made people feel hungry. Hmm. I don't know if it's true or not, but well, I don't either. Howard Johnson thought so. Mars here. Should we're at uh, Captain Larry's. I have not dug into this because um, I have my crab mallet from Rascal Global, but I do have a fork here. Um, crab cake recipe. How'd you tweak it? Tell me how you tweaked it. And will you fry this, or are you just are you just a broil? No, we broil it. It'll fall apart. It's it's all lump crab. Well, meat. well you could fry it, and like I will, I do like a special. Sometimes it's called the um, fireball sub, and that's. Um, a sub with fire, like with um, crab balls on it. Okay. And those are flash fried. And then they're um, tossed with a um, buffalo sauce and then topped with a blue cheese slaw. Buffalo blue cheese on a crab cake? On, on crab a fried balls. crab balls. Mm -hmm. I love crab. So because of my East Side bias, and I've said this to a million people, and I get laughed at by real foodies that a crab cake must be broiled because of the delicacy, mm -hmm. delicate nature of the meat and, the, and whatever your slurry is and filler, as they would call it, or whatever. The thing, the binder, the thing that holds mm -hmm. it together. My favorite crab cakes, and, and you have just, uh, you've nailed this one here, are they're, they're fried on the bottom because they stay in the broiler long enough mm -hmm. to give it that crust. A lot of places in Ocean City do it this way. If you look underneath, it's nice and crusty under there. That's perfect for me. So I say... Party on top, business at the bottom there for me. You, you know what I mean? That's the way I do it. So uh, I got a delicious Greek salad here. I really want to thank you guys for hosting us and having us down here. Um, when are you open? Give everybody some hours and, and, and big events and things you do because I know St. Patrick's Day is a little bit of a holiday mm -hmm. here as well. But you do any other major things, celebrate an anniversary, do things like that? Well, as a matter of fact, tonight we have, um, on Thursdays sometimes, we have what is called Pay It Forward Thursday. And so we have people come in. And they um, bartend, so all the tips go to chari whatever charity they do. Oh, it's beautiful. Tonight we're doing Zach Sachs, which is a very, very dear um, uh, benefit for me. Um, it's a friend of mine. Her son was killed in a drunk driving accident. All right. So she started Zach Sachs and um, asked me to be part of the board, and so... It's very well. Like, I think we get a, a lot of people here thing. tonight. Then take well, care I of that. I hope so. I sure hope where, so. Where, tell, tell me, tell me that charity again, so people can Google that and find it. ZachSachs.org. org. Okay. All right. Well, go out and, and, and give the local. Yeah. Well, Westminster. Yes. Westminster. Well, mm -hmm. that's local yeah. law for us. Yep. Yep. And uh, the reason why I know this family is because of Baltimore. Well, I, so I, I met them here. So where are you from? Where'd you grow up? I grew up in the Rockville area, D.C. Oh, so you're mm -hmm. not, you're a transplanted Baltimore. Yes, I came here to go to Towson and was working at the 8x10 and just had so much fun. Quit school and started bartending, and here I am. You probably slung a beer or two for me down at the 8x10. <laughs> probably. Yeah, I've been going to 8x10. My favorite memories of the 8x10, and I had um, 
um, the, the gal from Mothers that Dave married, she tended bar at Turner's mm-hmm. back in yeah. the day, right? I, I worked there too. Right, and Turner's had those great holograms that you'd mm-hmm. look into, and it was a little of a mind f, right? And and you go outside, and they would they had cooked pit beef. Right out on yeah. the stoop, right out in front mm-hmm. of what is now the Atlas Restaurant, right? Or right. out in front of what uh, is the uh, is McGurk's, yeah. right? But there was always a pit beef stand yeah. out in front of the 8 street ten. meat. Street meat, is that what's called? Meat. Well, that's what we called it. It was street meat because it was great because you would, um, 2 o'clock in the morning, everybody oh was drunk. Oh, my God, five and bucks, go give me a pit beef sandwich. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The guy made it. Lots of well, money. we had to say, do we, do we want to do that, or are we going to go over to uh, to uh, um, Villages at midnight? Or oh, uh, right, right, right. You, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Like, yeah. the, the only certain places are or open to sip o'clock. and bite. Sip and bites always open at two in the morning. <laughs> they have a crab cake <laughs> over there as well, and a cheesesteak, from what I understand. We're Captain Larry's promoting Baltimore. I I, I would have bet. Whatever's in my, my pocket, not much because I just got back from Hawaii, but whatever's I would have bet that you were from Baltimore. I had that's uh. because people that settle in Baltimore, I always think. I mean, I know I'm wrong. Not maybe I'm wrong. I know yeah. I'm wrong. That you have to be from here to really love here because it's so unique uh, and quirky. No. That's really not true. No. And, and the more I see other people that say, no, 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 I, I didn't grow up here. I came here and, like, this is, it felt like home to me. That's why I moved here, right? Yeah. That's a neat thing. I yeah. like that even more. I mean, yeah. I'm from here. I'm stuck here. You know, I ain't going nowhere. I love Although Baltimore. Maui wants me. I'll tell you that right now. Mm-hmm. But, uh, but I'm from Dundalk, and my whole life has been here. I think it's interesting when do, people do come from other places and make their life here mm-hmm. and and buy bricks yeah. and say we're going to serve a crab. When did you have your first crab cake? Rockville, you didn't grow up with crab cakes in the uh, house, Oh, no, you? probably when I came here, I would say. I don't even know. And, you know, I think my first crab cake was actually a Phillips crab cake. Well, yours is going to be better than that. I know that right away. So uh, I'm going to eat the crab cake here. We're Captain Larry's. It's all brought to you by our friends. By the way, I've got uh, Maryland Lottery scratch-offs to give, not just to you, but to your brother. And I know your husband's been a, a big part of doing things here uh, as well. It's a real family affair. Thank you. Uh, the Maryland Lottery is sponsoring things like this and people like this. Uh, Captain Larry's, we're... Right here in the South Baltimore area on Federal Hill and Ford Avenue, uh, Chris Pike's favorite crab cake, uh, Vicky's favorite crab cake as well. Uh, they couldn't be here today, so I'm eating this to, to honor them. I've had crab cakes. I, I did the math on this. It's over. I'm over 180 places now. I'm getting up oh on almost 200 places. And the, the interesting thing is, and I knew this going in, I don't know that I've really ever had the exact same crab cake in two different places. Huh. You, you know, they're, they're just they're all really different. Yeah. Now, is this inspired by anything? Have you had a crab cake elsewhere and said, oh, that's kind of like mine? Or do you have a crab cake that's not like yours? Because they're all different. I don't right. know if this is. I, look, I'm looking at this. I can see it's got a little breading. I can see it's put together nice. I see it's got a ton of, of jumbo lump crab meat in it. But I, I don't see any Old Bay. I don't see any parsley i don't see any this looks like a very simple recipe so it is but there is old bay but the old bay is in the egg mixture okay so that's a slurry so okay like, so basically i mean it's um crab meat saltines egg um and uh old bay and uh dry mustard this is a so very it's a crab for it's a, it's a it's a crabby crab cake yeah it's, it's a, not mayonnaise it's not old bay i'm just getting the crab flavor it's just straight crab well, flavor. Well, that's that's the look we're going. And for. you didn't give me any tartar cocktail, any of these. Want just we, taste. We have it. If right you on. need it, we have it. I'm a little bit well, of an like, anti-tartar guy. Mm-hmm. To me, that's for a fish stick. Mm-hmm. Now, cocktail. I'll wreck a crab cake with cocktail mm-hmm. in the way somebody would wreck a steak with a one because I grew up a cocktail. Right, right. And I like cocktail with my oysters. I. I like it. I would dip it to wetten it down a little bit. I would yeah. dip it in, in, an, in a cocktail. But on the tour, I haven't done much of that. Mm-hmm. Some places have had really unique takes on tartar that have made me like mm-hmm. it. Lemony, bright, capery. Yeah. That's does, what it, ours is. It doesn't taste like mayonnaise and pickles. pickles. Yeah. It, right? Yeah. I mean, and yeah. I don't want mayonnaise and pickles. That's for, yeah. that's for, that's for a fish stick for me. Yeah. Our tartar is, is um, house made, and it also has. Um, well, I want to try it's it. Can I try your tartar? Sure. Can I get a side order of tartar? Can I get a little tartar sauce? Just a little tartar? Thank you. Yeah. All right. We'll, we'll get that going. Evars. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to keep this segment rolling here because I order Greek salad. Traditionally, do you serve this with fries? No. Traditionally, actually, it, it says um, crab cake with Caesar. But I always give the option of you can get fries or... 
because our Caesars are really good too because our Caesar dressing is homemade and then we do instead of you um, sold me on that when I ordered the well no you I like mean, everything on your menu next time you have I to love come that back you wore your Maryland uh, hat here yeah too. see next see it's like you have to come back I'm anybody like a drug that promises dealer. me tartar sauce <laughs> that doesn't taste like I can see right away that's that's got some that's got some that's got a little body to it all right let, let, let's go with the tartar sauce here I'm gonna do, now keep in mind. I don't like tartar sauce. Okay. So if I like it, it means, whew, you know, I mean, because I'm not supposed to like it. But right. Is that dill in there? Is it a little dill? There's a little dill. <laughs> See, I saw that. That's mustardy, a little bit. Mm-hmm. No? A little mustard. Mm-hmm. I tasted mustard in it. Mm-hmm. I've never had mustard in it. A little yeah. like dry mustard. I like dry mustard That's, in the... You know, I'm at Fadley's tomorrow, and I say this to people all the time about crab cakes. Like, which one's your favorite? Mm-hmm. And I'm like... I love crab. It's mm-hmm. like like my favorite steak. If you like steak, you can put garlic on it, put butter in it, you like it, you know? I feel that way, and I want them all, all the above, you know? Right. I'll, I'll take a, you know, a, a, any seasoning will change all that. But with crab cakes, there's people, it's just two words, crab cakes, and you order them, and people don't say fried or broiled or whatever. They just order them, and they're all completely different. Fade these is very, very mustard forward, mm-hmm. and it's the only place that I've been where, like, the mustard's the first thing that comes at you. Right. And they're sort of famous for it, mm-hmm. but nobody else does it that way. Right. And um, so so doing a mustard with crab, it's, and I don't love mustard. I've never eaten a hot dog with mustard in my life. Mm-hmm. I don't like mustard. But I've learned to really love it as part of Dijon and mm-hmm. dressings and slurry. It's such a, it's a wonderful compliment for crab. Mm-hmm. Mustard I think is. so, too. And, yeah. and I guess on the east side, what we would do with, and, the, with the old fried crab cakes mm-hmm. is you would have French's yellow mustard. mustard. Yeah, mm-hmm. And I don't like yellow mustard. Well, a lot of people do. Like, I'll ask them, do you want cocktail or tartar? And they're like, do you have yellow mustard? And that is, I think that's more traditionally Baltimore. That's a South Baltimore thing. Yeah. Absolutely. That's definitely, yeah. Lamar, this is delicious. I really, really appreciate oh, you, uh, thank you having I'm us so down glad. here. thank you. A delicious crab cake. This is Pike's crab cake, and he's not even here to eat it, so I'm going to have to bring him back. <laughs> uh, we'll get it. I'll get him a proper Narragansett after they win the XFL title. Uh, Mar is here. Her brother's here. Her husband's here. Everybody's here. Uh, I appreciate um, the hospitality. More than that, we got a great day. Yeah. Draft day. I was standing next to you, and this crab cake was in the oven when Lamar Jackson signed with the Ravens That's today. Right. So I'll never forget where I was. Captain Larry's, come on down. Find him on Ford Avenue. They're in the heart of Federal Hill. Um, my wife sent me back. To, we lived down here for 20 years. So every time I'm in the city, which is three days a week, she's always got an errand for me to run or something for me to pick up from the old neighborhood. We're sort you know, we're, yeah. we're lost out in the county, but we, 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 we live nine miles yeah. from here. You know, you move to the county and it's like, there's no demarcation zone for me. I come into the city all the time, right. but we really miss it. We miss it with the weather because yeah. we would walk to Federal, uh, uh, walk to um, down the Harris Teeter. Oh, we would walk over to the Royal Farms. We'd walk down the, the, the veranda where a, a little Havana is below here. This is such a vibrant neighborhood, and there's just always people out here. That's what I love about yeah. it. Yeah. Todd, get out of here. Go eat those crab cakes. Todd Schuler. Thank you. My thanks to Todd Schuler. My thanks to Chris Real doing local tourism and my dear friend, realtor Shannon Toback, and, of course, Mara here and her family for uh, hosting us today. Uh, Maryland Crab Cake Tour will be at Fadley's on Friday. We're going to be out in the county at uh, McFall's. Real and oyster, oyster, oyster and real. I'm gonna get it right because I'm so used to saying fire of uh, uh, McFall's Fire or Ironside Tavern, which is up on my radio station. We're gonna be in Middle River down back River, River Neck Road next Thursday. All of it brought to you by the Maryland Lottery in conjunction with our friends at Window Nation 86690 Nation. Make sure you take care of those windows and of course Leonard Raskin. Giving me this is a really cool. Uh, this is a a, a crab That's gavel, awesome. but it but it opens beer on the other yeah. end. So this is this is a one of a kind patented item from Raskin Global, and I'm appreciative of him. Signing off from Federal Hill because I got to stop talking and I got to start eating more, and I got to get that uh, get that tartar sauce together there. With I can smell the mustard in it a little bit. It's delicious. I am Nestor. We are WNST AM fifteen seventy Taos in Baltimore, and we never stop talking crab cakes, Lamar Jackson, and Baltimore positive. Stay with us.